What's up guys, Connor from Tour Knives. Today we're gonna to be talking about the different types of steel we use as well as the different types of handle materials. So as you can see, we use four different types of steels. Each steel has a different chromium and carbon content to it and we use it for certain reasons. Each blade that we design and make is purpose built. So there is not one steel that's perfect for every single type of knife. So I'm gonna try and explain the benefits to each steel and go over which knives that we use for that steel. So our first one over here is um, one of our most common steels. It's called CPM 154. CPM from Crucible Industries. It's a great steel. It's considered a super steel. And the benefit to this steel is corrosion resistance. Now because it's cr uh, Crucible Industries steel, it holds a really good edge and it's got an incredible toughness to it. So this is, a, this is a really good steel for our natural finishes. So our stone wash or a polished finish, it polishes out really nice. The next steel that we have is CPM 3V. CPM 3V is known for its toughness. A little bit lower corrosion resistance, but it's an incredibly tough steel that can hold a really good edge. So we use this on a lot of our tactical ringed knives, our serpents and our vandals our jank shanks. The next steel we have is probably one of the more finer steels that's out there right now. It's called CPM S35VN. This has a really high chromium and carbon content to it. The higher the carbon, the sharper the edge. The higher the chromium, the more resistance to corrosion. So this right here is really truly considered a super steel. And our final steel is a high carbon steel that we use for our tomahawks. The reason we chose a high carbon steel is because when you're in the field and you want to create sparks on a fire rod or an incredible edge out there that you can resharpen, you want to have high carbon content in there. So that's why we use ADCRV2 for all of our tomahawks. Now for handles, we've kind of solely dedicated all of our handles to a material called Dymalux. Dymalux essentially is layered laminate wood, kind of like a skateboard, with a resin that holds all the different pieces together. So it adds that, that strength to it, and it's also very corrosion resistant because it's sealed with that resin. So we use it for all of our tactical and our field knives. It also looks really good when we do texturing because it adds those layers. Kind of if you were gonna shape a skateboard, you're gonna see those layers. We've got all of our charcoal over here, which is probably our most popular knife handle material. You'll see it on our dagger and our vandal, textured on our vandal. We've got walnut, you'll see that on our raider. We carve the raider with slots for grip. And we've got cocobolo, which is a bunch of layers of cocobolo essentially glued together to create a really, really fine red finish on the wood. Next is what you guys would know as marsh. Marsh on our viper handles and our serpent handles. It's textured on our serpent so you can see those different layers and it's smooth on our viper for concealed carry. You don't want a lot of grippiness on that blade because it starts to get uncomfortable. Next one is amber. Amber, obviously, is you guys' most favorite on the Serpent. It's textured. It looks really good. A couple different colors in there. Different types of wood that's all layered together. We've got Rosewood here. Rosewood from our Daggers. Very, very popular handle. Um, it seems like the redder the wood, the more you guys like it. It comes out really, really good when it's buffed. And then finally, if you guys have seen recently, we did a batch of Zombie Vipers where we textured and it's actually black or charcoal with a neon green dyed wood to create that layered effect in the actual Dymalux itself. So hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of the materials that we're using, why we're using it. Um, obviously there's not one single material that's good for all blades, so we do purpose build all of our knives. Um, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Try to explain why we use Dymalux pretty much only the added strength, it's, it's got the strength of G10 and micarta, um, but the look of, of wood, because it is wood. Um, so with that, 
you know, hopefully our next few videos are going to be how to machine it and use it, um, whether we're doing it by hand or on the mills. And uh, we'll do a few, uh, a few different tutorials for that. So until next time, guys, thanks.